The Republican presidential field growing again today with an announcement from former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie set for this evening in New Hampshire. Christie playing hardball in a field that's otherwise tiptoed toward attacks on the GOP frontrunner, former President Trump. Christie has said Mr. Trump's false claims about the 2020 election changed how he views his one-time ally. When you put yourself ahead of our democracy as president of the United States, it's over. But the former governor is only polling around 1% and this his second presidential bid. Former Vice President Mike Pence set to announce his White House run tomorrow, testing out veiled swipes as he tries to set himself apart from his former running mate without alienating the Trump base. I believe we have to resist the politics of personality. For his part, former President Trump bracing for a potential federal indictment over his handling of classified documents, casting the investigation as election interference. There's an indictment coming soon, sir. The man leading the probe, independent special counsel Jack Smith, staying quiet today after meeting yesterday with members of the Trump defense team. It is typically the last step before we walk into the grand jury, offer them proposed charges and ask them to vote out an indictment. At the same time, sources familiar telling NBC News a federal grand jury hearing evidence in the case is set to meet in Florida this week, where the classified documents were stored at the former president's Mar-a-Lago estate. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.